blend. You will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Live Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I was talking to Rick in California just before we had to go to break. Now, Rick is a lawyer, and he was laying out some of the issues in this recent case in San Diego where they refused to issue permits to people. Uh, Rick, go ahead and, and uh, tell us what you want to tell us about that case. For years, California has been a May issue state. You have to show good cause, which is very difficult in some counties, especially San Francisco and L.A., don't issue any permits, practically speaking. Mm -hmm. Um, but the, these gentlemen, I believe they were lawyers, brought a lawsuit saying it's in violation of the Second Amendment. Much to the surprise of everybody, the Ninth Circuit ruled they were right and that California has to become a shell issue like the other 40 states. Well, the sheriff in, the, in San Diego County decided not to appeal it. He was fine with it. Guess what happened? Kamala Harris, the attorney general, it wasn't even her case. Okay, this was brought into federal court. Uh, it, and she has no uh, business even being involved, filed a petition to be an intervener and appeal it. Really? Just another example of the gun grabbers out there. You know, she doesn't like the fact that people are going to be carrying concealed weapons, so she's going to stick her nose in, and all she does is take pictures with Obama, and she's a political sycophant. You know, that, that case, in that case, the Ninth Circuit Court quoted D.C. versus Heller extensively, and, and there was some pretty strong language in there about how gun control laws... They, they were saying in D.C. versus Heller, they could make some regulations for safety purposes, but they couldn't just abrogate people's rights to carry. And they quoted that in, in uh, that, that court decision. And I find it amazing that you see in D.C. versus Heller, it's now been about six years since that case. And again, the same thing is happening in D.C. is what you just described in California. You got politicians who just refuse to listen to the courts as well. And that really shouldn't surprise us, I guess, because they don't listen to the Constitution. They don't listen to the laws unless it suits them. And they appeal to the courts and say that we have a living document in the Constitution and that that living document is whatever the Supreme Court says it is at the moment. But then when the Supreme Court says that it is something that they don't like, they just choose to ignore it, don't they? 
these guys were the, the it was between the plaintiffs and the county council, and the sheriff decided he didn't want to appeal it. And yet, and here's Kamala Harris stepping in, you know, whose only goal is to further her political office. She's against the death penalty, you know, and doesn't care about crime victims in real terms. I mean, you know, it just goes on and on. Yeah. So, you know, there you go. You know, <laughs> that's what we're up against in California. I mean, you guys in Texas have a much better situation, I would think. It's amazing. Hopefully people will look at this uh, Yale and Yee, uh, Yale and Yee thing and, and start to get the idea that these people have got an agenda that, that is completely different, a private agenda that's completely different from their public agenda. What do you think about this guy in D.C. that was just convicted of having replica bullets and a dud shell? Have have you heard about that case? Oh, yeah, I heard on the show. Yeah. Yeah. So I many mean, things I hear about on the show. The show is fantastic for educating me. I mean, it's on, we're Prison Planet TV members for that reason. Well, thank you. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, that, that helps a lot. This is a guy in Washington, for people who don't know this case, his name is Mark Wittishek. And his ex-wife was trying to harass him using the police, and they found an inert, they raided him a couple of times. He was a hunter, but he kept his guns in Virginia where it was legal. He did have a souvenir shotgun shell that had misfired. It was a dud. And it was, it was already, I mean, the thing would not work at all. And then he had some muzzle-loading bullets. Basically, just the bullet. Not, a, not any, any powder, no casings, nothing that's going to propel it. Just the bullet. And we've got up there for people who are watching. You can see what it looks like. It's a bullet that's in a plastic Sabo, which is a way that you can put it in, and uh, use it in a muzzle loader. It wasn't a projectile at all, and he was describing this to uh, to Fox News, and it was just amazing. He said he was the only one in the court that even knew what these components were. They had no idea what these were. I think the charge was officially that he was attempting to acquire ammunition. I mean, they couldn't even really call it ammunition because it wasn't ammunition. It only had the metal bullet. It didn't have anything to pro propel it with, and he was given a $50 fine. And he has to uh, register as uh, some kind of a gun offender. And they pointed out, quite rightly, that this is in sharp contrast to the treatment that was given to an NBC News personality, David Gregory, who you remember went on the air with a 30-round AR-15 magazine during a broadcast to meet the press. They just ignored that. Why? Because he's pushing their agenda. Anything else you want to say, Rick, in California? Just real quickly, I know time is limited. I just, the, the, the fact of what this show does in broadcast excellence, in my opinion, when it brings, the, the George Hansen story, a lot of things I never heard of, and I go look up, here's a guy who was a congressman, you know, and he mm -hmm. protested the IRS, and Alex used the term, they dieseled him. I've yes. never heard that before. Yes. And I find out the guy's being transported for weeks and months on end with no respite, no rest, hunched over, his toenails are grown, and, you know, I mean, he, he practically died from this. Yes. And this was the government doing this to him from prison to prison, the federal prison system. So, yes. you know, people, what, the, the, the main point is there's foul play and all these things. And it's always about the same thing. It's about the money, Building 7, the insider trading, the yes. mysterious deaths, Tim Osman, you know, uh, Obama, I mean, uh, Ben Laden being really Tim Osman, and all these things, architects and engineers, down Don Browning, Oklahoma City. The list goes on and on. And thank God for you guys for bringing this stuff to the forefront, because when it finally enough people realize it, like I do, then the tide will turn. Yes, yes. Well, thank you very much, Rick. Very well, very well said. Thank you. Great call. Let's go to Mark in Wisconsin. Mark. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point with the last caller there. Um, you, with the, the, the lack of information that, that people are, are not, just not aware. Um, this is my first time calling. I've been listening to you guys for, for a while now, and uh, I'm really happy with, with, with what you guys are doing. And <laughs> it's really too bad. You can't be on a on a larger uh, broadcast and 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 go more uh, mainstream, you know, versus the uh, you know dinosaur media getting the getting the chance of of sucking up all the airwaves. Well, thank well, you. Well, We're trying. Are. You know, they're actually yeah. imploding, as we mentioned on Friday. Their ratings are just falling. I mean, they're down 50, 60 percent over a year. Just since the uh, in, in the most recent one, MSNBC was down 24 percent. And it's because they won't follow the stories where they go. A great example of that is what happened this last week in Turkey, where you had a recording of the Turkish officials, the head of the intelligence, the uh, head uh, minister 
as well as a person who is in charge of the military, who they're plotting a false flag attack to try to start a war with Syria. And in order to stop it, they shut down YouTube and call these guys villainous and dishonest. And the mainstream media picks this up. Uh, Paul Joseph Watson points out that this is how they reported it. Reuters says, well, this appeared to center on a possible operation to secure the tomb of Suleiman Shah. BBC says it relates to a discussion of possible military operations. Here's what these guys were actually saying. They said, I'll make up a cause of war by ordering a missile attack on Turkey. That's what the head of Turkish intelligence said. Then the deputy chief of military staff says... It's a direct cause of war. I mean, what we're going to do is a direct cause of war. And then another guy says, we can also prepare an attack on the tomb if necessary. And if it's pretext, we'll give you one. Pretexts can be arranged. We'll mount an attack against that place. This is what these guys are saying. And yet Reuters and BBC are just saying, well, this is possible military operation. CNN talks about how and why the audio tape was leaked. They don't talk about anything that's in it, actually. The LA Times says... This is talking about a possible military intervention in Syria. And then, of course, they also repeat the talking points of the Turkish uh, government saying that this is dishonest and villainous. Same thing we saw with the Snowden leaks. And yet what they're what they're doing is just giving cover to these people. They don't want to talk about the fact that they set up a false flag. They can't use that F word, those two F words. It's not in their lexicon. What, what, was there anything else you wanted to say, Mark? Well, I just wanted to, to bring out the point that, uh, un unfortunately, when, you, when you're trying to educate people and, and, and the deer in the headlights scenario that you end up coming across all too often is, is really, really frustrating, you know, between the friends and the family and, and, and uh, you know, coming from, a, you know, basically a college town from the, uh, you know, Madison Beach and UW. Uh, I understand. The, uh, college film. And you, you would think that people would be more educated and quite liberal. It's actually more of a liberal town. But, uh, well, you know what it takes, Mark, is it takes people who will actually do the research themselves. But sometimes the, the trigger for it is a show like ours. What they're hearing is the same thing, whether it's Reuters or BBC or the LA Times or CNN. They're not hearing the full picture. They're only hearing that, for example, in this, that Turkey shut down YouTube and Twitter. They're not hearing why they shut it down. They're not hearing that they were pushing a false flag attack. We're talking about that. We're one of the few, if pro probably the only outlet that's talking about it outside of alternative media. I like to call it authentic media because we're going to tell you what's really going on, the truth as best we know. We're gonna be right back. We're gonna take some more calls. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. 
Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.